At 7 a.m. this morning, Mr. Johnson awoke to find himself dead in the main hall. He was found to have a snapped neck and has the local authorities baffled. As they search for clues, they... Oh, oh, okay, I wasn't done, but... So what have you found? I found this dead body here. Wow, really? You want a medal? Well, actually... Don't answer that. There isn't any evidence, so let's just start running through some scenarios. So what do you think happened? Well, from his landing position, it's possible he was on the upper floor and slipped on the banana that's conveniently placed up there, thus breaking his neck on the fall. Well, that seems a bit ridiculous to me. I think I have this all figured out. So it all started when he was talking on the phone with his wife. He wasn't married. So he was talking to his sister on the phone. But you literally just said his wife. Strike two, no more interruptions. So over the phone, they get into an argument. And he gets so mad, he starts screaming over the phone. We didn't find any records of recent phone calls. So he's yelling really loudly, and his neighbors start to take notice. He's being heard all over the neighborhood. Stop. Among his neighbors is the young Keith Barners, an honorable student at Cooperton Elementary. Keith just so happens to be studying for a big history test he has in the morning. Through the screaming, he can't concentrate. So you're saying a child did this? No. You did this. You fools. He didn't do this. I did this. <laughs> I did this. No!